Hey, <laughs> I'm glad you're back. Let's review. You know that I was 228 pounds and that now I'm 125. You saw my transformation from an unhealthy, broken person to the healthy person I am today. We covered the importance of support groups. We know why this plan works. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle change. We know that organic is important and less costly in the long run. We know the importance of sweets. We know that this plan works because I'm living proof. Moving forward, we'll cover the basics that might block weight loss. We want to be prepared to lose weight to the natural state that God plans for a healthy body. Let's look at Matthew 6, 8. For your father knows what you need before you ask him. A hormone balance can block you from losing weight. Find a good doctor that specializes in all natural bioidentical hormone balance and have your blood work done. This is vital for women and equally important for men. There are many good books out there that you can read about balancing your hormones. They're a valuable resource and there's many of them listed on my website. That's www.cookingforthedanielplan.com. Think about this, a 400 pound cow or a plump chicken is pumped full of hormones for the sole purpose of fattening it for market. When we eat this stuff, unknowingly for years, these same hormones fatten us. We have filled our bodies with these same hormones. Is there any doubt that the average person, male or female, is suffering from a severe hormone imbalance? Get to an all-natural doctor that specializes in bioidentical hormone replacement. Have your hormones evaluated and do what is necessary to get them balanced. Let's move to the kitchen. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. We're going to look at a few basic things here today that if you don't pay attention to might block you from losing weight as you embark on your healthy eating plan. First, let's start with these supplements. You need a basic, good, all-purpose multivitamin. This doesn't mean a one-a-day brand or whatever. You really got to search. And now, all of these supplements and oils, the information about them and links to where you can get them will be on my website, www.cookingforthedanielplan.com. So you need this, a basic multivitamin that's chock full. You need omega-3s. Omega-3s are good for your heart, but did you know that if you are low on omega-3s, you won't lose weight, you won't sleep well, and you'll eat more. So let's look at this. These are just a few of the things that I take. I also take iron supplements. I take Maca Magic. Now this is just a brand name, but it's actually Maca Root, and it helps to balance your hormones. This is not a substitute for going to a good, all-natural, bioidentical hormone doctor. You need both. You might not need the maca root, but I like it. Uh, and it gives you energy. It's really good. Vitamin D3. Now, they always say take vitamin D, but I didn't know the difference between D3 and regular D. D3 is made from the first press, so it's higher in quality. Uh, if you don't take enough D3 in your diet and you're low on it, you, it affects your brain. So you won't think as well. You'll be foggy headed. The same way with, uh, with uh, the omega-3s. But if you don't have enough D3 in your body, then you won't lose weight no matter what you do. Now, there's a couple other things that I do take that I mentioned but I don't have here. One of them is a digestive enzyme. You can buy those on amazon.com or in a local health food store. I don't have digestive enzymes here to show you today, but all that information will be on my website. This is probiotics. You know, I just learned the other day that if you have had your appendix removed, that the appendix is supposed to be producing your probiotics. 
So <laughs> you really need to look seriously at some probiotics. It helps the body function. It helps the colon digest the food and push it through. And if you can't get it pushed through as you're eating less junk food and more healthy foods, then you, uh, what'll happen is that you'll get a stomachache. It's called a cleansing crisis. If there was one thing that I wish somebody would have told me about, in addition to the healthy eating plan, would have been about the cleansing crises. Nobody mentions it, and you're gonna go through them. So if you load yourself up on digestive enzymes, also probiotics every day, you're not gonna suffer these cleansing crises. And they are nothing to welcome at your door. You will double over in pain. So these are the important things for you to pay attention to so that you can be ready for the healthy food that you're gonna be eating and avoid any complications. These are vital. And I'll have links on my webpage, www.cookingforthedanielplan.com, that will lead you to how you can figure out possibly what your body needs. Another important thing that I want to talk to you about today is clearing out your kitchen. Anything that has more than five ingredients, if it has an ingredient that you can't pronounce, it is not healthy. Get it out of your house. Get it out of your kitchen. If you leave donuts there and say, oh, they're for my kids, do you really want to feed that junk to your kids? Because you know what? You're going to taste them, you're going to eat them, and then you're going to get sick. So stop it. Clear everything out and fill your house with good things because then you'll eat good things. Now, one of the first things you need to clear out and get good stuff in is good oils. You want them to be organic. You want them to be healthy. Now, you don't want canola oil. You don't want any of those because it, it's just not healthy. You want natural, organic, good oils. Olive oil, if you don't eat it on your food, you need to take a couple spoons full a day. So you can have as much of this olive oil as you want on your salads. It helps you absorb the nutrients better. You don't have to worry about fats making you fat. This is another good brand of olive oil. Olive oil is not so good to cook with because if you cook with olive oil, you have to cook really low because after about 200, 250 degrees, it turns toxic. So you don't want to do that. But you want to put this on every vegetable you eat, every salad you eat, just drench it. And you don't need any other salad dressing. So to cook, um, grapeseed oil is good. It takes a high temperature. Um, sesame seed oil is awesome for you. It heals the body. So you don't have to be worried about sauteing something in a little bit of sesame seed oil. Not only that, if you have this organic sesame seed oil, guess what? You can rub it all over you in the morning and rub it all over you at night. I heard that it was good to fight blemishes, and I have a little brown spot right here. You can look, I don't have it anymore, right? Well, I started putting it on there. I thought, well, if this will help, you know, blemishes, maybe it'll help this brown spot, because I heard that it would. I rubbed it on there, guess what? Six, eight weeks later, it was gone. It was totally gone. So this is awesome. Put it on your feet, put it on your hands, Put it on your face, it's just good. And you can cook with this, high heat is okay. Now let's look at this. Boy, this is a favorite. This is, so, this is coconut oil, it's organic. This is, Spectrum is one of my favorite uh, brands and these oils. But this coconut oil is so good for you and it actually helps you to lose weight. It helps the body to function better. So if you can make a shake in the morning, if you want a protein shake, by the way, when you drink, you only drink water. You don't consume calories in beverages. You don't drink your calories. But people actually just put a teaspoon or a tablespoon of this in their protein shakes because it's so healthy for you. It just keeps everything in your body functioning and it actually helps you to lose weight. So it's also good, coconut water is very good for you. So you don't wanna just walk around drinking it, but it's a really good thing to use instead of almond milk. You don't want to have dairy. You, you want to stay away from dairy. If you want to have a little cheese, have sheep's cheese. So it's delicious and it's fine. I don't care for goat's cheese. Many people do. That's fine too, but it's not for me. It's just a preference. So that's pretty much covers these oils and how good they are for you. 
Okay, let's talk about tools. I'm not suggesting that you go out and buy all these things, but as you decide to make purchases along, you need to know what to look for. I love this pressure cooker. It's not like the one your mother used to use in the 50s. This thing, you plug it in, you set the menu for high, medium, or low, then you set the timer, and you leave it alone. Now what's great about this, besides the fact that it's easy and you only have one pot cleanup, is that you can take the cheapest cuts of meat and it comes out tender, almost like tenderloin. I use this mainly for boneless chuck roast. So I'm gonna show you later how to make a delicious beef stew and I'm gonna start it in this. And you'll see the meat just falls apart. Another thing that is really important in my toolbox for my kitchen is Henkel knives. They sharpen really nice and they last a long time. Now, probably I saved my favorite for last. That's this Vitamix. You know, I didn't know originally that they overheat sometimes and will shut themselves off so that they don't damage it. Well, it overheated, shut itself off. I, w I got on the phone and ordered another one. I said, I've got to have it here overnight. And so now I have two in every kitchen that I do. You can make almond milk, but it's too much trouble. It's cheaper to buy it. You can make cashew milk, and the reason you don't buy that on the shelf is because it's so darn easy to make that manufacturers don't make it because they know you can make it. And the nice thing about cashew milk is it comes out like cream. So you can make cream soups, you can make delicious protein shakes, and it's all cashews, so it's healthy. And the cashews are totally full of omega-3s. So anytime we can consume healthy items, that's really good. So you can leave vegetables in here and let it run long enough and it'll actually make soup for you and it'll be warm. You just pour it out. I also love my 1810 cookware. You know, it's so pretty, it will last you forever and you can even display it because it's so attractive. A carpenter has to have the proper tools to do a good job. We do too. If we're gonna produce healthy meals, we need the proper tools. Perhaps you won't run out and buy everything at once but as you grow to make new purchases, you'll want to know what to look for. So now let's take a look at, at green juice and what that can mean for us. When you think about the fact that we're supposed to eat seven, we have the 70%, 15%, 15% rule. 70% of our consumption each day should be from vegetables. Leafy green colors, the varieties, look at this rainbow of colors. And so you get 70% from that and 15% of your consumption is from fruit, and 15% is protein. You see, God put into plants, all, all plants, what we call phytonutrients. Phytonutrients are what cause the plant to heal itself and sustain its growth and life what through, uh, through droughts, through um, poor soil, uh, and bugs, attacks from bugs. So if a plant is fertilized and if it is sprayed and maybe grown even in a hothouse, it doesn't need any phytonutrients. So the little plants don't produce it. What does that mean to us when we consume a plant that doesn't have very much phytonutrients? The most important thing about eating plants and, and vegetables is that the phytonutrients go into our body, they talk to our DNA, and then the brain tells the DNA where to put it to heal our bodies. So all of a sudden, we're healing and we're turning around. You know, we're, we're making a big turnaround. You know, a year and a half ago, all my numbers were high. My cholesterol was high, my triglycerides, even, even my blood pressure. So now uh, it's all within normal range, maybe even like a 20-year-old. It's, it's pretty exciting. But you know, it's a challenge to get 70% of your intake every day in vegetables, especially a lot of green vegetables. You see, kale is one of the best vegetables we can eat because it is just full of everything. Well, it gets kind of tough to chew five or six plates of this a day. 
even celery. I used to think that celery had no food value. It's very high in food values. So I started juicing. You know, it got a little, I, it took me a little time to get used to it, you know, but I drank it because it was the easiest way for me to make sure that I got that, you know, two or three glasses of green juice a day, and you don't have to worry about your consumption of vegetables. And the 15% fruit and 15% protein just seems to slide natural. So I make green juice. I, I do a cold press. My favorite green juice is mostly kale. I put a little celery and I put a little lemon because it's a detoxifier. I put a little cucumber and sometimes I put a little romaine, high in value, food value. So you should consider that. And if you don't like it at first, just persevere because it will make a huge difference in your, in your life and make it easier for you. Let's take a look at this green juice that I've made. Now this one I've actually put bok choy in in addition to, and you can change it. You know, you can put, um, you can put tomatoes in it. You can make carrots. You can put carrots in there. Carrots become very sweet tasting to you after you eat clean for a little while. So I like to make carrot juice separate because um, it's a treat, almost like dessert. Mm. I promise you that after a few days, you will literally crave this green juice. You will crave it because your body will crave it. Okay, now I want to talk to you about maybe some things that you heard your mother say all your life. I know my mother did. We're going to talk about a hearty breakfast and how important it is and what a hearty breakfast actually is. It's protein. You need protein first thing in the morning. So you could eat quinoa cereal, almost all protein. You should have a little vegetables in there or fruits. Maybe that's a good time to have blueberries or raspberries, but blueberries and raspberries, all berries must, must, must be organic because otherwise they are full of toxins because that little berry just sucks it up like a sponge. So breakfast is really important. You can eat an egg, you can eat some sardines, you can eat some smoked salmon, anything that's easy to make sure you do it. The other thing is a good night's sleep. If you don't get seven to eight hours of sleep, you're gonna eat more. You, you will be dragging around and to comfort yourself and to give yourself more energy, you're gonna crave food. And you'll probably eat things you shouldn't eat. So a good night's sleep is a big important deal. Now, another important thing is water, water consumption. I know we hear this all the time, but let's talk about it for a minute. You need filtered water. So you can get a filtered glass or a fil filtered, um, well, you can get it on your whole house if you want, which would be nice. But uh, worst case, you get some, uh, a filtered pitcher and filter your own water. So why is this water important? Well, number one, it hydrates your body. More importantly, water helps to flush out all the toxins in your body. So you, you know, toxins hide in your fat. So when you're toxic, it helps to wash the toxins out if you drink enough water, but it washes the fat out too. That's exciting news. Now, what is enough water? You know, we often hear that it's eight, eight ounces of water a day. And maybe that's what our mothers taught us. That's what my mom taught me. But the truth is, you know, a 200 pound guy needs more water than a 100 pound woman or child. So you drink a half ounce of water for every pound you weigh. If you weigh 200 pounds, you drink 100 ounces of water. If you weigh 100 pounds, you drink 50 ounces of water daily. And you could drink a little more because that's what you need for your body to function and stay clean. So water is a big deal. So a good night's rest proper supplements and oils, and a lot of water, the proper amount of water, and maybe a little more, is what you need, as well as to consume 70% of 
of organic vegetables. And you know, I used to dismiss people with, when they talked about organic vegetables. I just didn't think it was important. But I've come to learn the vital importance of organic vegetables and what they can do for me. They have changed my life. So these are things that you need to know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this session. And if you have missed anything, you can go to my website, download anything you need, recipes, the same information, or get links to information about the vitamins and what you can get and what I take is all there. So it's www.cookingforthedanielplan.com. You can email me if you want. That's jlorick, J-L-O-R-I-C-K, at cookingforthedanielplan.com. I promise you I'll answer you. It's my desire to help you learn what I learned and maybe even cut some corners for you. So, bon appétit, and I'll see you soon. God bless. Joyce Lorick can remember the day her life changed. She weighed 228 pounds. She heard God speak to her. Food is not your enemy, he said. Soon after, Joyce found the Daniel plan. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 2 Corinthians 4.17 Now Joyce has put her own spin on healthy cooking and wholesome nutritious ingredients and is bringing it to your table. Must have recipes like healthy lasagna and hot crab and asparagus. Mac and cheese, strawberry cacao, no cheese cheesecake are a blessing in disguise for anyone who wants to eat healthier while enjoying all of the luscious foodstuffs God has provided us. Cooking for the Daniel Plan by Joyce Lorick.